Welcome to the Be A Paid Speaker Now podcast. I'm your host and speaking coach, Deborah Darris, known as the top Latina peak performance speaker. This podcast is here to support you with strategies and best practices of paid speakers so you can find out what works and what doesn't so you can achieve success with ease and grace in your speaking career. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to another great episode of the Be A Paid Speaker Now podcast. I am Deborah Darris, top Latina peak performance speaker and your host, but even more importantly, your coach. I'm here to help you monetize your magnificence and to position yourself as the expert to be paid to speak. And because I am, I have a gift for you. I am giving you my webinar that is Be A Paid Speaker Now. You could go to debradaris.com slash speak now and download it and you can get five steps that you can get paid right now. And if you want to take an even deeper dive, you can have a coaching session with me. That's right. All of you get the gift of a complimentary coaching session. I call it a clarity session to really help you to pinpoint what is the problem that you solve and how you can be positioned as an expert. You could just go to debradaris.com and click coaching. And if you're listening and you're part of an association or an organization that needs an, an engagement speaker on peak performance, I am available for hire. You can book me right off my website at debradaris.com. And now, without any further ado, we are going to start this fantastic show. And this show is super fantastic because I have one of my star coaching clients, someone that's a part of the Synergy Speaker mastermind group that's a six-month program to position you to get paid to speak and i have to tell you she's only been in the group for a couple months and already did her own event super impressionante friend i was impressed by that but i am here to introduce our guest host which is Susie aguilar she is the founder and ceo of boss chulas a professional development business specializing in the empowerment of Latinx mompreneurs. What a great niche, my friend. Her transformational <laughs> coaching business and mentoring programs empower women with the confidence and marketing strategies to create impact and shift in your mindset, allowing you to reach your business goals. Please help me welcome Ms. Susie Aguilar. Thank you so much. I am super excited to be here today. And so since I am the guest host, I'm going to begin asking you the questions. How did you manage your nerves and stress in the beginning stages of your speaking career? Do you still get nervous now as a professional paid speaker before going on stage? I just love this question. Before we even get started, I just want to say thank you. You're one of the busiest people I know with being working full time and being a mom and all that you do. And I know you don't live around the the corner from the studio. So I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate you. And I'm really excited for you to be the host because you thank may you. like it, want to have your own show. Who knows? <laughs> thank you so, so much. And I love this question about nerves and stress because I've been speaking now for about, it was 17 years, but now it's 18 years. And I have to tell you, I recently had a speaking engagement um, where I was very, very nervous and very, very stressed. And I realized there was a reason for that nerves. I mean, normally when I go to speak, I'm not nervous once I get on stage. Usually it takes about, you know, from five seconds to five minutes, and I'm going to give you some rituals to reduce stress. And then I get in the flow and I'm fine. But this particular presentation, for some reason, I was even more nervous. And there's always a reason. You know how I say that we have our intuitive guidance system right. and that success leaves clues. And when we have a gut feeling that something's off, it's usually because it is. And this particular event, I thought I was going to be speaking to CEOs, like owners of companies. And I had prepared this high level program and presentation for these executives and I get there and it wasn't the executives. Oh it was like the entry level people, many without high school, not high school graduates, many who didn't speak English. So oh I'm God. going, and I, I'm like, maybe this is why I was nervous. <laughs> and there was 300 people and it was two hours of workshop. Okay, my friend. And so I'm 
feeling my nerves build and build. Like, I mean, I couldn't sleep for weeks and I'd been thinking about it. And then I start speaking and I see eyes glaze over. Like, they're like, what are you talking about? Like, they had no idea what I was talking about. And so as a professional speaker, okay. as a paid speaker, your job is to never let them see you sweat. And your role is that they get a transformational experience. No matter what they told you, it's your responsibility to deliver. Okay. Even if, the you know, you didn't have what you needed. So in that moment, I was like, I need to flip the script. I cannot give them the talk that I had. And I had to completely shift, make it interactive, and I totally let my intuition lead me to do exercises that I had not planned on doing, okay. to do things. But by the end of it, I and I always recommend that you videotape every speaking engagement because oftentimes I think, oh, well, this one isn't going to be that good. They're always fantastic, right? <laughs> and so at the end of the speaking engagement, the person that brought me in gave me the best testimonial, and it was all captured on video. Wow. She said, your energy was so contagious that people were coming in from the other room because they could feel it. And the way you engaged the audience was amazing. We've never had a speaker with energy like you. And I was like, all on video. So yes, there's nerves that happen. Usually, uh, because I have a pre-event questionnaire, which I gave you as part of the mastermind, I know who the audience is if it matches what they write. Um, so I'm not as nervous. But the best way to reduce nerves is, number one, to be prepared, mm -hmm. to know who you're talking to and what problem you're solving. But number two, that you yourself are in a relaxed state. For this particular gig, I had just come off of a plane from Italy doing my first international gig. And what I will, will tell you as a professional paid speaker, you may be thinking, well, why would you schedule it like that? You never intentionally schedule things like this. It just seems all the gigs are back to back. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just like Murphy's Law that one thing is in Indianapolis one day and you're in Fort Lauderdale the next day. You're in Italy one day, you're in Houston the <laughs> next day. It's just... It's just Murphy's yeah, law. You can't help it. You can't help it. Mm -hmm. But the more relaxed you are, so I made sure I did a lot of extra meditation. Okay. I did a lot of inner work mm -hmm. to be able to be calm, cool, and collected. Because the bottom line, when you're a paid professional speaker, you have to perform. There is no, right. you know, if you don't, and this happens to like musical artists, that one time you don't hit that high note or that one time you show up late, they will write about it, your fans, and you're only as good as your oh last talk. God. So you have to, and so it is a okay. lot of pressure, but one of the things I say, and I could coach you all right now, is when you remember that you're the messenger for the message and it comes through you, not from you, it takes away a lot of the pressure. But again, you're the show, especially if you're the keynote speaker or you're delivering a workshop. And what gives me pressure is as I've been a speaker for longer and longer and I get paid higher and higher rates, mm -hmm. it's like the more money that I'm paid, the more nervous the more, that I feel. The more so pressure. I realize I shouldn't be. That, and I'm, I'm saying that because I'm honest. You know me. I don't exactly. fake the fun. Yes, I wish I could lie and say, the more money I'm paid, the better I feel. <laughs> and I'm so fantastic. But I got to be honest and right. I got to be truthful. So because I feel like, wow, they're expecting a lot. But then I have to remember I deliver a lot and I've earned this fee. Right. Yes. And you've earned this fee. So know that you're worthy of it. And then some of that will subside. Very. Thanks for that great question. Yes, very good key points. What are some suggestions you can share to our listeners who want to get paid but are having trouble to get booked? So usually, and you know this because I do a lot of you know programs in the community. I do a lot of online webinars and Facebooks. When I'm coaching people, the reason that they're usually not getting paid to book is one of two things. One is they're not clear on the problem that they solve. What do I say? Clarity is what? Cash. See? Clarity is cash, <laughs> as Debbie De Niro, right? Clarity is cash. So the more clear you are on what you're an expert in, what association organization groups have the problem, just like your niche is so amazing. You know, you help mompreneurs, Latin X mompreneurs. That is a very clear niche of people that need what you solve and helping exactly. them with their marketing strategies, right? right? But if people are not getting booked, it's because they're too general. Mm. They're trying to be okay. all things to all people. They want to help everyone. And when you try to help everyone, I learned this from Lisa Nichols, you help no one. Right. Because you're just 
There's no way that you can be an expert on every single topic that's out there. You need to be that expert by focusing your energy and really getting deep, not wide. wide. And so having that clarity. The other reason, that's number one, they're not clear on their um, audience. They're not clear on their expertise. Number two, there is a, and this is really an energetic thing. The people that aren't getting paid to speak is they have their foot on the gas. They're like, yeah, I'm ready to go. But they also have a parking breakup because oh. subconsciously, not consciously, this is why I do um, NLP, neuro-linguistic programming. Neuro is the brain, how we process information. Linguistic is language, how we speak, and programming our habits. Mm -hmm. So 95% of everything that happens in our mind is subconscious. Okay. So there could be a subconscious belief that, oh, it's scary to speak, or um, I can't, a lot of my clients that I work with, I'm scared to be visible. If people see me, they're gonna judge me. Mm -hmm. So I find a lot of people, especially people that are healers and people that are very empathetic and sensitive to energy, okay. that they're scared of how people will perceive them, scared of how they might be judged. And so they are holding themselves back. Mm -hmm. So, and it may come through sabotage. It may come through um, halfway going in, but then halfway putting out. So they're giving okay. mixed messages to the universe. One of the things I talk about is aligning for success, my new book that's coming out. And so to align for success, our thoughts need to be congruent with our emotions, need to be congruent with our behaviors, need to be congruent with our results. So if somebody has the thought, I'm a great speaker, but no one will pay for my topic, their emotions are going to be um, apathetic, their behaviors are not going to be putting themselves out there, and the results are going to be lackluster. Mm -hmm. So I would say, how can we reframe that belief, okay. right? So what would be an empowering thought? I am the messenger for the message. People want to hear what I have to say, and I'm abundantly paid for it. Then their emotion is excited. Exactly. Then their behaviors are, you know, what does it hurt? Let me call this organization. Let me reach out via email. Let me put this video on LinkedIn, on YouTube. And then guess what? If they're consistent with that clear problem they solve, they will get results. Mm -hmm. Because our thoughts create our emotions, create our behaviors, create results. It's a formula. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. So the negative mind blocks and, and the beliefs that prevent you from moving forward. Yes. Definitely. So it's either mm -hmm. consciously you don't have a clear message because um, clarity is cash and confusion is brokenness. <laughs> <laughs> and then number two, it's some conscious, the limiting beliefs. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Now that you are an international speaker, what are what are some different avenues you will need to do to get booked internationally. Are there other different tools you need to incorporate? You know, I'm so excited to be an international speaker. So I, and I really had a focused intention on this. On my vision board for years, it said Europe, Europe. But even Europe is a little general, right? right. That's not specific, clarity exactly. is cash. So as soon as I said Italy, Within, and I have evidence because I have a friend that was a professional salsa dance teacher in Italy. And in July, I sent her a message on Instagram saying, you know what? I've decided I'm ready to be an international speaker. I'm ready to go to Italy. Do you know any Airbnbs? Because I want to go the week before to get to know. And then within like a month of putting that message to her, I booked through Facebook and one of my speaking clients a gig in oh Italy facilitating. It was so cool. I didn't even got a chance to talk <laughs> to you about it, but it was facilitating a couple workshops at a retreat for women. It was an empowering women workshop on how to manifest their visions faster. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited because not only were the women able to like have breakthroughs, like one person's getting a movie deal, one person is quitting her job and having a baby, one person <laughs> literally became a blogger, a travel blogger during the week we were there. Oh so God. the transformation was so deep because the setting was so magical, yes. being in Umbria, which is like the other side of Tuscany and Perugia in Italy. And not only was I able to empower the women, but one of the women brought her son and he was eight years old and oh he was listening God. to me practice my other speech. And he came to me and I said, you know what? You can manifest your goals. You just need to see it, say it, 
and feel it. And I said, what do you need to do? And he said, see it, say it, and And feel feel it. it. And then every day he was saying his affirmations, which are like to be a star soccer player, (laughs) to get a dog, to be able to travel back to Italy. And I could see the magic that was happening in him. And he blessed me so much. He, He drew a picture of me. I don't know if you saw it on Facebook. And it was like, wow, you don't know the impact that you have, right? Oh you go there to transform the life of an audience member, but you transform their entire family, especially you working with mompreneurs. Exactly. You're you're transforming the life of their children because success leaves clues. And when you impact that father or that mother, you impact their kids, their nieces, their nephews. So for me, it was such a bonus to have this eight-year-old boy that was even more motivated and focused on his goals. He lives in Canada, and it was just so special. So, you know, international speaking is something that I enjoy, that I love. It's not the top of my business goal list. You know what I talk about in the Mastermind Group with the one-page business plan? Love that book by Jim Horan. Mm -hmm. And they have a one-page business plan for speaking because, for me, international speaking is fun, but it's also draining, right? I'm still not recovered. I've been back for a week and I feel like, honestly, I'm faking it right now like I've been hit by a truck. My whole (laughs) body hurts and I love it. I love international speaking, but it's not something I want to do every month. You know, maybe every quarter would be cool. So it's not the top of my list. And also you, the fees are actually better in the United States Mm -hmm. than in other people. There are some um, countries like Australia that if you're a personal development um, person and also in parts of Asia, okay. they love that oh. and will pay well. But really, the United States, when, right now, as of this moment, okay. could all change, is really <laughs> the best place to get the highest fees okay. as, a, as a, a speaker, as a peak performance speaker. Wow, awesome. Yeah. So okay. I think it's really important that we're clear on where okay. we want to go because not every speaker wants to be a keynote speaker. Not every speaker wants to be on the road a lot. That's why I love that book, The Wealthy Speaker, right? Right. Um, By Jane Atkinson, because in the very first chapter, she says, do you want to speak? How many times a month? What is your fee? Like that kind of thing. So you could create a lifestyle business Mm -hmm. so that your speaking career doesn't overwhelm you and then you burn out. Because I'm all about aligning for success. (laughs) Not burning out. (laughs) Burnt out in this book. (laughs) Align for success. I love that. Thank you. Okay. What have you, what would you have done differently when you first started your speaking career and wish you would have known from the beginning? Thank you for asking that question. That is such a great question. So when I first started and I started with my business partner, we literally would speak on anything that people had a budget for. So people, I don't know if you could see, I'll show you on the camera. My business partner, she's from Ghana, West Africa. She recently passed. Um, But she grew up in London and they would see her as an African and see me as a Latina. And they're like, oh, that's diversity. And they would hire us to speak on diversity. And I was a professor on the topic of diversity, but it's the opposite of what I teach you. Mm -hmm. I teach you all, you know, niche your niche and even niche that niche. Right. So I speak on peak performance. But for professional Latinas or people of color, a lot of the times, that's my niche of my niche, right? Mm -hmm, Right. So that helps me have the edge and really own the lane. But back in those days, we would speak on anything and everything. And this is why you don't want to do that, just in case you get tempted. Because it's really easy and you feel kind of good. Your ego feels good when people say, will you speak on this? Will you speak on this? Mm -hmm. Especially when they offer to pay you, right? right? Mm -hmm. But how are you going to be an expert on a topic if you're speaking on every different topic? Because every time you speak then, you're going to have to prepare a new program. Exactly. If you're speaking on the expert on one topic, you have that topic. You have that PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. You have that speech. You have that book. And you can give that, and I know people that do, Les Brown, (laughs) um, you know, that give the same speech every single time. Of course, they customize it, but you want to give You know, you give that same speech. So when I first started and I had the different topics, it was so much time and energy writing and rewriting presentations and programs. And I never owned my niche because I was doing that. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until recently that I started the Be A Paid Speaker Now podcast and the Be A Paid Speaker Now programs. As I was coaching other people, guess what I learned? What I was doing wrong. And so I really decided, and this was about, eight years ago, to own the topic of peak performance. 
to mm-hmm. own the topic of top Latina peak performance speaker. Okay. And once I did, you know, people literally were Googling, you know, peak performance speaker, Latina speaker, and were able to find me. Great clients like General Electric, Procter & Gamble, mm-hmm. JP Morgan, those kind of clients, Verizon, et cetera. Okay. And so when we focus our attention and become specialists, not generalists, then we can grow, then we can expand. Very, very great tips. Very great tips. Okay. As a takeaway for our listeners, what is one action you can give our listeners to get out of the closet and promote themselves as speakers now, not tomorrow? I love it how you said get out. You know, know I've been telling you guys, get out of the closet. (laughs) And I did another podcast and one of the speaker who was like a shy, empathetic person was saying that she had to come out of the closet as a paid speaker. And Yeah, so one of the most important things that you can do to get out of the closet is to get on your social media and start speaking. I saw you doing that. High five to you. High five. Get on your Facebook (laughs) Live, but also do not neglect LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is where, and maybe not for you because you're more focused on the moms, but for those of you that are listening, if corporate clients are your focus for Fortune 500 companies, you want to get on LinkedIn. You want to do YouTube also has live. Instagram also has live. Okay. You want to make sure that you get out there, but also start speaking, right? right? If you are ready and you want to step out on the closet, people need to know that you're a speaker, right? Exactly. And so every time that you're at an chamber of commerce event or you're even networking with your kids at a preschool oh i'm going to a speaking engagement i'm going to a podcast on speaking because i am a professional speaker Speaker. i am a public speaker and when you do that people oh when they have you in the top of their mind they're going to be reaching out to hire you but you have to consistently let them know both on social and in person Mm -hmm. that you are available for hire great great awesome thank you so much Everything you've said has resonated with me, and I'm sure it has resonated with our audience as well. Yeah, it went by so fast. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming and being a guest host. And by the way, you too can be a guest host. Make sure that you join our Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash be a paid speaker now. And you could recommend people to be guests on the show. If you know great speakers, you could also recommend yourself to be a guest host. If you live in the LA area, would love to have you. And you can also download that five steps to be a paid speaker now right on my website at debradaris.com slash speak now. You can also get a coaching session by just clicking coach on my debradaris.com site. And if you know of anyone that needs a peak performance speaker to increase retention, engagement, and productivity of their workforce, you can go to debradaris.com to hire me for your next event. See what I did? I asked for the business and that's what you're going to do because you are the messenger for the message. And I know that with the power of synergy, anything is possible. Ciao. Bye. Thank you for tuning into the Be A Paid Speaker Now podcast. If you want to be a paid speaker right now, you can download the five steps to get started as a paid speaker right on my website. Just go to debradaris.com slash speak now. And remember, with the power of synergy, anything is possible.